Hey everyone, Matt and I posted this picture and it had the internet completely freaking out. So I thought I'd talk through what it actually means and what it means for you. So it's depicting a couple jobs or personas, if you will, and the intersection of the skills that you need to get each of these jobs. And then of course, what you might expect as a salary. So the three different disciplines that you need in the quantitative and algorithmic trading arena are really math and statistics, Python, and the markets. And what does it mean if you have a math and stats background and you can program in Python? Well, generally you are going to fall into the category of a data scientist. And if you search on Google for data scientist careers, you'll find like a 50 to 75 percentile salary of around 124,000 US dollars. Now this is three to five years of experience. And of course, like anything, depending on where you look, you're gonna get different answers. I usually stick to indeed.com, which is a job board for technical roles. And also based on my experience building and scaling two or three different data scientist teams in the past. On the lower left, you've got the intersection of math and statistics and so-called markets. And this is where you're finding your quant analysts or even your quant dev analysts. And these are the folks that are quite good at looking at the markets understanding what's happened, probably have traded, have some intuition in the markets, but also have the deep math and statistics background. So when we're saying math, we're talking about things like linear algebra, maybe even some stochastic calculus to understand and build models around derivatives and uh, things like options and interest rate models, etc. For statistics, we're not talking anything crazy fancy here. You can get quite far with stats 101, the statistics that you took in your undergraduate, and I'm talking about linear regression, logistic regression, maybe some fitting of time series and polynomial models. Uh, but as you start to progress in your career, getting into the machine learning uh, arena is really where we are finding the most impact. So folks that have this type of background, but aren't really that great of programmers are kind of stuck in this quant analyst or quant dev analyst um, area. And again, if you search Google for this type of role and look at Indeed and eFinancial Careers is another great one, you're looking at around 138,000 uh, per year US dollars. Now the intersection of Python or programming in general and the markets, this is what is the danger zone. And that's what the uh, skull and crossbones denotes. Th this is when folks who have access to the markets and might have traded in the past start to bang away at code and connect to the API without really having the background of you know, the math and statistics for the assumptions that you need to know, uh, or I should say the assumptions that you're violating when you're actually trading. So a great example is you know, historic asset returns, which most folks don't even think about. And when you consider basic statistical models, or, or even more advanced statistical models, a lot of times they assume a normal distribution. That's because a normal distribution can be described by only its mean and variance, uh, and it's got a lot of really nice properties that make it very easy to work with. Um, unfortunately, the market doesn't follow a normal distribution. Not prices nor asset returns are normally distributed. So if you go in and code up a bunch of strategies that assume the normal distribution of returns and then go to apply those in the markets, you are going to lose, you are going to lose fast, hence the skull and crossbones. So what is this quant scientist? A quant scientist is the combination of all three of these disciplines. You've got the math and statistics backgrounds. You might even be a practitioner for a couple of years. You are great at Python or you're getting great at Python. And of course, the most important thing is that you actually have market intuition. Market intuition is you have skin in the game. You've actually lost money in the markets. You know how that feels, which I'll tell you from experience, losing money feels a lot worse than making money feels great. Uh, it's a weird human bias that losing feels a lot worse than winning. Uh, so this is the quant scientist. It's it's the combination of all these skills. It's the white rhino. It's the, the person that these recruiters are looking and scouring for. And this is where the money's at. This is the combination of all three of these skills, either through practice or academics, that bring you to the recruiters, bring you to the interviewers, and this is who hedge funds are looking for. So to get 
the bath, the math and stats background to get the pro Python programming experience and to get that market intuition, this is what our course is all about. It teaches you the math and stats that you need, the tools that you need to deploy them. Obviously, the whole course is based on Python, so you'll be getting lots of experience with Python, and you'll be paper trading, and towards the end of the course, actually be trading a live account, if you so desire, through the IB API. So you will get that market intuition all in a very compact way. Hopefully that explains it. Uh, don't be the bottom right. Don't fall into the skull and crossbones. See you next time.